Hi folks, Dustin Hodges from Right Turn Promotions. With the 2017 NAF 1000 Championship officially in the books, I sat down with the top three finishers to get their thoughts on the inaugural North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by American Racer Tire. So let's head on up to Harleysville, Pennsylvania and meet your 2017 champion, the 77, Alex Mayer. 2017 was awesome. Uh, it started out a little rough, but uh, we ended up not finishing the first two races. But then throughout the season, turned turned around and made it all better by winning most of them. Uh, the group of guys are just amazing. We're all really close, and if anybody needs a hand during the weekend, at least somebody or two people are there to help them out, no matter what it is. Um, other than that, the cars are amazing. They handle just like a go kart with a lot more power, and the tires grip amazing. So it's awesome. Running the Indy was pretty awesome. I was there back in '07. I actually found one of the pitchers when I was there in a quarter midget running in the uh, parking lot. Uh, but running Indy on the big speedway this year was pretty awesome. And the race with Gary Hickman was, we were within five cars the entire race. So it was a tight, close race, and it was worth it. And uh, one quarter we were hooked up going in, he ended up hitting me in the back, and the end plate, or the, the wing mounts got in, intertwined in his nose. So it was interesting going through that corner. Kind of pivoted like a trailer. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah, I'm really excited for the more competition and a closer group of guys. Uh, the more competition, the better, and American Racer will be there, I'm sure. But other than that, it's really excited for 2017, or 2018, actually. That, because we're heading to PRI in the middle of December to go with actually one of our sponsors. Uh, one of the oil companies just came on at the last race, the MP, MTP oil, MPT Oil Company. <laughs> well, we have uh, plans to do an F4 and a GP3 test over in Europe uh, this coming winter. So hopefully we'll see how that pans out. We might be running a couple races over, over in Europe next year. Congratulations, Alex. Now let's head to the beaches of North Carolina and meet the 2017 runner-up, Area 81 racing driver, Tim Pierce. So we're here with Tim Pierce, the uh, second place in the 2017 North American Formula 1000 Championship. So I want to say congratulations, Tim, on your second place finish. I know you got you and Jason Slayer had a fantastic battle all year long, and you came out ahead by a half a point. You want to tell us, what were you thinking about that, Ray? I know you're trying to overcome nine points, and it seemed like an insurmountable amount, but you pulled it off. I want to say congratulations. Uh, you want to tell us about your year? Well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, going into the race, uh, I knew that I was nine points back, and I kept having conversations. Hey, is there any conceivable way that that I would be able to come out ahead? You know, is it mathematically impossible? And and, and the early conversations was, well, it would be really insane that you would have to finish first, and Jason would have to finish last, or not finish at all, and and it, it was crazy. And even even then, it was a stretch of the imagination. So when it turned out that I finished first and Jason finished third, it, it still, you know, I was two points shy, but then, and, and I thought after the weekend was over that I was two points shy, and then I got a text message saying, well, but by the way, you got the pole position, and that's worth points, and you got the fastest lap of the field, and that's worth points, and I never even thought about that. So it was a complete surprise to me that I ended up finishing second in the NAF 1000. But Jason is such a great competitor. You know, every single race, it seems like he's right there with me. And and he's a good driver, he's a good person, but daggone, I just could not get away from him all season. You know, it's like we're right there together, every track, every race, you know, we're right there together. Jason won so many hard charger awards, you know, and, and, and that's money, you know, that's money that I didn't get, you know, I finished third or fourth or whatever, and here's Jason every single weekend, he's hard charger, and he got the big money, you know, and Sunoco has done a great job. Everybody wants to be the hard charger, and a couple of times we actually uh, uh, kind of joked around with Jason, hey, you know, you're, you're kind of you're, you're starting light just so you can finish strong so you can get that hard charger. Actually, it's not a bad strategy. Well, you know, if it, if it would have worked out ahead of you at the end of the year, we might have been saying things differently about those, that one point for Sunoco. But, you know, I guess uh, in the end, I'm not sure if you'd trade second place for a few hundred bucks every weekend, but, you know, it's uh, that, that check kind of makes up for some of it, I guess. Here, so. 2017 with the NAF 1000, I wouldn't have had this in 2017 had it not been for the NAF 1000. You know, th I thank the series, I thank all the sponsors. Uh, Willwood, HRP, 
uh, Sunoco, American Racer, George Dean Racing Engines, uh, the uh, Rebel Gears, you know, th these guys, without you guys, we couldn't have done this. We couldn't have these sponsors, Primus Racing. Uh, you know, we just couldn't have done it without these guys. And, you know, before 2017, we'd have a, a little plaque from uh, the national races or the regional races, and, and those are great, but, but this is something to really be proud of. And we are very proud of the series and what we've done, and uh, we hope to make it even better for 2018. And this is a this, this is pretty nice to be taken home for a weekend's trophy. Uh, that's 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 legit. That's got a nice heavy base. I mean, that's a that's a legit trophy. That's, this is this is the big boy. This is not. This is impressive. Yeah. Man. <laughs> this, this is the one you want to take home second place in the year end. That's that's pretty. That's amazing. Man. That's, uh, I'm honored to uh, to finish second in the NAF 1000 inaugural season. Not only that, I won the first race in Road Atlanta. And the last race at Indy, so I have bookends yeah, yeah. on the season. That's pretty nice. You get that, yeah. You have, you have first place bookends. That's a good. That's a good way to end the start and finish the year. That's you know? right. You know, good start, good finish. So you know, maybe it'll be some momentum going into the uh, the 2018 season. But what are your thoughts on the sophomore season for this series? Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Number one, uh, Waterfall Security Solutions, which is our marquee sponsor for Area 81 Racing has agreed to sign on for 2018 and that's a huge help having their support uh, as you know uh, Richard Franklin my teammate area 81 racing has retired from racing he sold his car you know maybe he'll be back <clears throat> it might be in a rental it might be in our class or it might not be so that's a huge loss for our team uh, but I'm prepared to double down and uh, and take the team on my shoulders alone and it, it means a lot to me that Waterfall has agreed to, uh, to re-up with us for 2018. Secondly, uh, I'm doubling down in another way in buying a new car. Uh, you probably know all about this with the JDR. I'll be driving 2018. In 2018, I'll be driving a JDR. And, uh, you know, the, uh, Alex won the, the championship and the runoffs in the JDR, and, and I... Alex has, I, it's amazing the speed that he has out there, and, and I feel like there's more potential in the JDR. So it's going to be a big change for us in Area 81 Racing, and I feel like we're going to be even more competitive next year. So uh, we're very excited to, to run the second season of the NAF 1000. I'm excited to go back to Road Atlanta. I'm excited to go back to my home track, VIR. Yep. I'm excited to maybe go to either Daytona or Roebling. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on this. Uh, you guys either considered an amazing show this year, and it was fun to watch. I know that everybody, everybody talked about how great the cars sound and look, and the show is always amazing. And it's, you're the first guy I think I've ever seen to get out of his car, self-rescue, get back in, and finish the race. So uh, that, was, that was amazing. Uh, I'm glad you got that on camera, because nobody would believe that otherwise. So, uh, but again, congratulations on a wonderful year, and I know you've got a lot of work to do this season to sell one car, get another car ready, and, and get ready to go for spring training or whatever you're going to head up. Are you going to wait till the first and a half 1,000 race? Are you going to go out and try and do some testing or anything? Or? Well, no. We're, the first race in, in our region is March Memories at VIR in okay. March. Um, I don't know that we'll get the car in time. Uh, it would be nice, but for... You know, I gotta pay for the car first. So uh, I may not have the money to go you testing. Know. Best of luck in the new car, Tim. Now let's stuff ourselves full of some crab cakes as we sit down with your third place finisher at Maryland resident, number nine, Jason Slayer. So here we're third place in the 2017 championship, number nine, Jason Slayer. I'll say congratulations on third place. Thank you. We uh, were talking to Tim the other day and he said that you guys just battled wheel to wheel all season long, said he couldn't get away from you no matter how hard he tried. And he said you're just always right there. It was a blast all season. You want to tell us your thoughts on this year's championship? Absolutely. Tim and I have raced wheel to wheel, you know, since 2008. We went actually went to driving school together down at Roebling Road. And ever since then, it's been the Tim and Jason show, just back and forth, back and forth, left and right. So it's always fun. That's good. That's wonderful. So I know that this season you had a lot of Sunoco Hard Charger winner awards, and that was. Uh, definitely helps you guys in the stay up in the points, and that's a, a lot of money to help you through the season. I'm sure that helps to keep going. I know there were rumors that you were going to quit racing, but I hear that uh, you've made a commitment to stay with uh, maybe a few races next year. Is that correct? Yeah, as so of now, we have a few races uh, marked on the calendar. But um, you know, if any sponsors want to, you know, 
hook a brother up, you know, find me on Let's Facebook, Twitter, it. Instagram, and, um, you know, we can work something out. That's right, man. That's what it's all about. Money makes the world go round, and uh, racing makes expensive. I know we try to mitigate costs, but it's definitely not, uh, still not a free hobby. So uh, anybody who wants to get on board, help third place in the championship here, obviously competitive car. So uh, uh, one thing is, I know that, you know, running at Indianapolis, a lot of guys talk about it, it was this iconic weekend and all that. What are your thoughts on, on running at the Brick Garden? It was outstanding. It was probably the best race in my 26 years of driving race cars. I mean, you know, to feel the yard brick, you know, under your butt that first time, the, the pagoda, you know, it was, it was awesome. We've got to go back. Absolutely. It definitely was fun to watch, and hearing those cars scream down the straightaway was an amazing day. So I was just handed your trophy by your daughter, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and hand that to you, let you nice. celebrate that nice third place trophy you got in 2017. Thank you. Yeah, this, this inaugural season was wonderful. I know that a lot of guys uh, you know, had a blast, and a lot of guys won a lot of money. The series gave out almost $30,000 in cash and private. Uh, but what's your thoughts on the sophomore season for this, this class? It, it, it's going to skyrocket. This is, this is where to be if you want to pick the uh, move up the ranks, you know, F1000 cars, they're, they're technical, they require talent, and uh, the F1000 drivers are definitely talented, so we have bigger to go home. That's right. Well, that, that leads into my next question. I would say that if, if somebody was curious about why they should come racing, what, what would you tell them? I mean, what's the best thing about Formula 1000 in your mind? Oh, that, there's a lot of good things about Formula 1000. Oh, I guess the, the way the rules are written, uh, the engines are stock. Um, so it keeps the cost down, but they're light enough, the cars are light enough and quick enough that it, it's a real race car. I mean, you have, you know, wings, diffusers, adjustable sway bars. I mean, this is not an amateur entry-level class. These cars get 13,000 RPM screaming down the straightaway. They sound absolutely crazy on, on what you're watching. But when you're in the car, do you, is the sensation of speed and the sensation of sound still there, or is it is, as much as it is in other classes that, that you've driven? I would say the sound especially. I mean, this thing is like a Formula One car on a budget. This thing is awesome. You know, 13,000 RPMs, 170 miles an hour, and you can buy a brand new car for, you know, forty or $50,000. I mean, you can't beat that with this thing. But, Two weeks inside that oval and the, the history and the icon of that, it, it's got to be a, a really wonderful experience just to, to be a part of the great job. Yeah, I, mean, it's, they, I heard a thing that there's less than four or five thousand people who've ever crossed the yard bridge. Yeah. You know, that, that, to be one of those people in over a hundred years is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. The same yard bridge like AJ Floyd, Alex, Gene Jeremy, just all the history, just the museum that we parked behind out in the boondocks. I mean, it was. It was awesome. They have a whole AJ Foyt section in the museum and every other body. Everybody else was all gathered together. On the boondocks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they did kind of have you guys stuck in a, just a weird back parking lot over there. Yeah. yeah. That, was, that was interesting. I put more miles in the car driving from the pitch to the, to the grid than I did on the racetrack. Well, I think you were close to some of the guys. There were, I saw there were guys actually kind of outside the racetrack. Yeah, they were, and they go through a tunnel and all kinds of other weird mm -hmm. stuff. It was just craziness. There was a thousand entries to the runoffs. It's just it's crazy. So, well, next year I know that the schedule is still kind of up in the air, but I know that they're talking about going back to you know VIR in Atlanta, possibly going to Daytona, maybe Roman Road is open, things like that. What's what, if any of the tracks that we race this year, or possibly in the air, what, what's your favorite track that you that you really want to run? What, what's you really enjoy the most? All of them. All of them. All, all right. Above. All right, I, that, that works for me. All right, racing is racing. Got to love it. Well, I just want to say again, uh, congratulations yes. on a wonderful season. Uh, I know it was, it was great watching you guys battle wheel to wheel. I love the, the video of you and Tim just constantly back and forth. It's great. Uh, the sounds are amazing. You guys did a great show. I, I look forward to seeing you on the track next year. I really hope you can make it to a lot of the races. Anybody out there that you know definitely wants to uh, jump onto a car and get a lot of coverage, uh, you know, those 50,000 video views of a car, Pretty easy to set that budget up for him. So get Jason out on track. Get this guy some cash. Well, uh, congratulations again, and uh, we'll see you next year. Of course, thank you. Thanks. Congratulations on a wonderful season, guys, and congratulations to all the competitors in the inaugural North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by American Racer Tire. I know I'm not alone when I say I cannot wait to see the sophomore season of this amazing series. For those who missed an NAF 1000 event this year, don't let this happen twice. The video does not do these cars justice. A schedule will be released soon. Make sure to stay tuned and pick a track close to you to come check out the greatest sounds in American motorsports.
For more information about the North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by American Racer Tire, check out Facebook at NAF1000 or the web at NAF1000.com. Or maybe Instagram, Drive Tribe, Apex, or Twitter is more your thing. Find us on the web at, at NorthamF1000. That's at NorthamF1000. We are everywhere on the web, folks. Stay tuned for 2018 as we expand into even more of the right turn racing in this world and we bring you live coverage of multiple amateur and professional racing across the road courses of the United States as well as highlights from around the world. Once again, I'm Dustin Hodges. Have a wonderful day, folks.